In this video, we're going to talk about Ethereum and why I think that there's a lot further to go up for Ethereum, as do many other YouTubers. You may have seen quite a few videos coming out about Ethereum lately, and we're going to get into that. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today we're going to talk about Ethereum and why I think that it's got a lot further to go. Now today we're seeing Ethereum up around 10-11% on a day uh, with a peak of around 14% on a day uh, or just under 15% so that is looking really good at the moment. The question is, is it going to be overnight? Uh, where we get a break at the local top over here at 1,353 and the previous all-time high at $1,440 approximately. I don't think it's going to be overnight and um, there's a few reasons why. Now, there's a lot of new people coming into the space that don't actually understand uh, how the markets work, all right? So this video I'm making for the sake of newcomers in the space, okay? If you're a seasoned trader uh, or you've been in crypto a long time, okay? You'll probably already know this, but patience is key, okay? So a lot of people that would have bought into Ethereum, especially probably even over here, okay? And it's pulled back and we see this massive wick on the daily coming down. And that has been bought up and now it's moving to the upside and there might be some frustration uh, especially if you're new to the market remember my focus is you right now because we haven't got any confirmed patterns at the moment all right so we're looking at the market move moving purely based on speculation of course we're also um, looking at the price action of bitcoin in terms of you know how we expect it to move because history normally rhymes it doesn't repeat itself but it say history rhymes okay so i believe that it's actually going to go up uh, but when i say that i want you to be uh, to understand that i'm not talking about it going up straight away it would be great if it does uh, but for me, the faster that it moves up at this point, um, I mean, the faster they will come back down. Okay. So there's a few reasons why I think it's going to go up. One of them we've already mentioned, and that's the fact that Bitcoin is going absolutely crazy and has previously broken its all time high and moved to the upside. And we know that Ethereum being the number two in terms of uh, market cap, Ethereum is, is uh, normally follows uh, shortly thereafter. Okay, and obviously leads the altcoin run, or you know, some would argue that it would be Litecoin, or you know, there there can be any you know number one altcoin that can be the cause of a, a ever bull run. Well, Ethereum is obviously you know the biggest altcoin and the number one altcoin, the father of the altcoins. Okay, so for me, I think that this is actually going to break the previous all-time high at one thousand four hundred and thirty-five, especially if I base it on the price action of Bitcoin, especially if I base it on this volume over here, which is building slowly. We've got nice, lots of nice W shapes in the volume, so I think you know this could uh, break out of this triangle and then kind of roll over, and it might be a little bit of a long thing. It could just consolidate, continue to consolidate sideways, okay, or or form even a bigger triangle that we haven't seen uh, kind of uh, formed yet. But uh, yeah, it's just a waiting game. We'll have to wait and see. I am holding some Ethereum because I'm waiting for that break of the previous all-time high, and I'm not a price prediction person. But, you know, a lot of people are talking about the $2,000 mark or the $2,700 mark. Some are talking about $27,000 for Ethereum, uh, which is, you know, uh, you know, a, a lot of these can be clickbaity. But, you know, I wouldn't rule it out that it could ever get to them kind of price points one day. Uh, the key to seeing those kind of price points is patience, right? Uh, Warren Buffet once says that the, the stock market is the transference of wealth from the impatient to the patient. So we have to be patient in this space, okay? If we look on the three-day chart, we know that we've got a bullish, uh, kind of a bullish candle over here. And so everything is looking good in terms of volume, in terms of price action. It's looking good. I don't think that the move is over yet. 
Um, as you can see, it did come up before, but we just we failed to reach the previous high at 1,440, which is a good thing, okay? Because we know it's at least it's not a double top yet. It doesn't become a double top until it hits that mark or just slightly over. And then, but but I think it's not going to double top. I think it's gonna. It might get a little pullback actually. Let's go back to the one day chart. So a double top will be when he, the the price action goes to the previous top. All right, it could be just slightly under or slightly over, but it goes to the previous top. And then what you get is a massive rejection. Okay, now we're not seeing a massive rejection here. Of course, we had this sell off because market psychology. A lot of people would be expecting it to be double topping. A lot of people kind of get out before it reaches the uh, uh, the previous all time high. Of course, it reached around one thousand three hundred and forty dollars. Previous all time high is one thousand four hundred and forty dollars. So only about a hundred dollars off. If you're smart, you would have took profits there, and you would have actually been able to buy back in over here. Not a lot of people would have because they would think, you know what, let's just wait for it to break the all-time high now. Uh, but of course, a lot of people also would have, and that's those people that failed to get in down here and were waiting for a dip mine opportunity. Okay, so for me, I think that uh, uh, there's a lot more to go. The second reason is because of Ethereum 2.0. Now, if you don't know much about Ethereum, when you use a decentralized exchange, you have to pay gas fees. Now, if you're using Binance or you're using uh, any other top tier exchange, you probably wouldn't notice it, okay? But if you're using some small, uh, smaller tier exchanges, they still do have gas fees. And most definitely decentralized exchanges have the gas fees, all right? And those fees can add up. And a lot of the time you don't hear like kind of like uh, seasoned traders or people with a lot of money really complaining about the gas fees. But uh, this, this normally affects people with not a lot of money, okay? And it really does all add up. I mean, the amount of money that I've spent in gas fees on Uniswap alone does work out to be crazy, but it's not something I think about. I always kind of increase my gas fee to the highest level, especially on Uniswap. Um, so that I can execute my transactions quickly because sometimes speed um, can be your best friend when you're trying to, do, you know, use a swapping exchange. All right, so Ethereum 2.0 um, will actually uh, be a benefit to those that have issues with gas fees and especially the gas fees affect everybody. So let's, let's not underplay it. Right. So um, what is Ethereum 2.0? In a nutshell, Ethereum 2.0 is also known as ETH2 or Serenity. It's an upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain, and this upgrade aims to enhance the speed, efficiency, and scalability of the Ethereum network so that it can process more transactions and ease bottlenecks. This is going to bring a lot more adoption into Ethereum, and of course, it's perfect timing for this to be landing because you know Bitcoin's in a bull run, and um, you know we're, everyone's looking for alt season. So there's a lot of new money coming into crypto as well. New money, people that haven't invested in crypto before, a lot of them would have only have heard of Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP, you know, the top, you know, the kind of like top three to top 10 altcoins. So Ethereum being second down from Bitcoin, people are going to look at Bitcoin and say, wow, Bitcoin is like 42K or 40,000 or however much it is at the time, right? And then they're going to look at number two and think, oh, number two is only $1,000, $1,214 at today's price. So that's going to be the more attractive buy in, especially with a lot more people making uh, videos about Ethereum and with Ethereum 2.0 coming and with Ethereum um, having a lot of applications being built upon the network. Of course, the Ethereum network is the most popular network in the world. We've also got celebrities talking about Ethereum and all that sort of stuff with lots of new people flooding into blockchain yes the news might talk more about uh, bitcoin uh, but if you look at um, institutional investors they would like to get in some into something that's like safe okay and obviously bitcoin being one of them but bitcoin having a lot of controversy and having no owner and you know nobody who you can hold accountable or, or anything like that nobody you can kind of like uh, use as a reference point for it and uh, with ethereum having vitalik buterin if that's pronounced correctly as the owner and founder meeting having meetings with governments having meetings uh, you know flying all around the world talking to people about ethereum somebody that's still building this whole ecosystem, uh, I feel like a lot of people see that as a much safer bet. Um, Ethereum is not looked at as a currency, okay? It's looked at as uh, sort of like a, um, the internet or the blockchain 
for blockchains kind of thing if that makes any sense okay so that's why i think that there's a lot more to go but i will warn you this is not going to be overnight we may blow past the previous highs going into the end of this week there's the potential for that i'm not saying it's going to happen all right but there's a possibility that that may happen or it might take a little while okay but what i'd love to see is for this to kind of take its time a little bit not go up so fast and of course if we zoom out and we go on a monthly chart, for example. Okay. If we zoom out, right? If you go and look on like a, a decentralized like Uniswap or something, and you see a lot of coins where they have their starts and they kind of move up and then they come down and consolidate and then they go up like that. For example, wise. Okay, let's look at wise. Alright. We saw it with wise. Okay, let's just lower that. Right. So we see when it first came out, right? Uh, which is, you know, just over two weeks ago, right? So we see it comes out, we get a massive impulse, okay? It comes down, then it consolidates for ages, and then what do we get? We get a massive move to the upside. I mean, look how big that is. So imagine that happened with Ethereum, but on a larger time frame. We get it comes out, we get a massive impulse to the upside, and it comes down, we get this long consolidation, now it's moving up to the upside, and it's about to take out its previous high, right? So just imagine that Ethereum followed this sort of trajectory now, right? Of course, this is on the 15 minute chart. So this happened in a very short space of time. But like I said, we zoom in out, we're looking at the higher time frame. We're looking at a longer period of time for this to happen because this is the, the monthly chart. So just imagine over the next months, right? Or years, how high Ethereum could actually go. Guys, that's really all I've got for you for now. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. That helps with the algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.